Hey, it's me. Oh, it's upside down. Wait a second. Hold on a second. T from the Pattersons. Oh, Patterson. Patterson. Patterson Projects. See, this is the Bronx right there. And see this, sir? See here, Mount Haven section right there? You know, in fact, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Chief Rocker. What's that guy that had Clarence Clemens in his band, the E Street Band? That guy, Bruce Springsteen. He had a song they talk about Mount Haven. He's talking about Haven throughout the South Bronx. So if you say Mount Haven, that's right there. So basically, the Patterson Projects is right there. The Mount Haven section of the Bronx. Okay, that's where, I, that's where I was, you know, that's where I was raised. That's where I was, as as the blues people say, that's where I was made. Okay, no, listen, smoke. Listen, man, let me tell you. Okay, first of all, a little bit of water. Mm. And then my water, you know I have my whole water thing. Let's go to another video for that. But I'm going to break open, finally. <laughs> Organic carrot turmeric blend juice. Ingredients, organic carrot juice, organic black pepper. Because, you know, with turmeric, you have to have black pepper with turmeric because that activates the turmeric. You got that. Uh, organic lemon juice, organic turmeric powder, organic chili pepper powder. All right. All right, chili pepper powder. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Just open it up now, hear that vacuum, then I gotta put it in the refrigerator after open. See what this is gonna be like. You put a lot in there, I might not like it. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, not bad. It smells like something I had before, not just cat juice, but hmm. Hey, this is pretty good. I like that little zesty, I guess that's a chili. Distinct enjoyable beverage. Hints of black pepper, lemon juice, and chili pepper round up the flavor of this 100% juice blend that is perfect for a morning kickstarter. Well, it's like midday now because I had to do this stuff this morning, you know? But I'm going to tell you what happened. I've been trying to call my brother for the last uh, week or whatever it is, you know, you know, on his phone. Oh, man. Then finally this morning I said, look, this is just ridiculous. Because last time I talked to him, he was at Lenox Hill Hospital, right? But, uh, you know, on the phone, I called him, oh, okay. So I called up the hospital and I said to you know, my brother, blah, blah, blah. And, they, and they said, oh, he's here, you know. So they, anyway, they, gave, they had a, gave me to the floor nurse and the floor nurse, so he had a phone in his room. So they, they, they got in touch with him, right? Ends up, when I first talked to him before, here's what happened. Let me tell you what happened. He was in Lenox Hill, not for AIDS, not AIDS, but AIDS, what's that, uh, the virus, the, the corona, whoever, whatever they call it these days, the virus, the current virus, right? And he was, you know, he wasn't there for the virus, he was fine. Okay, then what happened was he had left the hospital, and of course, remember, he's homeless, he goes back to his regular routine. Where does he go? Because he hangs out at LaGuardia Airport. Back to the airport. What's the airport? Virus Central. <laughs> So it ends up while he was at the airport that time, you know, he's, he he likes to watch the little James Bond on the on the on the phone, you know, like that. He knows, you know, the internet and cell phones, you know, uh, smartphones, they basically save in the day because people would be going crazy if they didn't have this modern social or whatever link up. Anyway, the point is, somebody stole his phone because he fell asleep. Somebody stole his phone. Okay, but it ends up he ends up back in Lenox Hill Hospital because now he has a virus. Okay, I didn't say, look, my, my family's actually smart, but I didn't tell you, I, I can't explain it. Anyway, so the point is, so I've been trying to reach him until finally I reached him, and he ends up, he did get the virus in the thing, and so I was talking to him, and I, and I knew, it was kind of strange, it's kind of, see, I'm, I'm, I, did I tell you, I'm hooked up, my whole family, just hooked up with the universe, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this was a day, I knew, I was calling because I knew that if it, it I wanted to find him, but I knew if he was in the hospital, right, then he couldn't get out the hospital to pay his bill at the storage place. Because the way some homeless people, what they do is he has a storage place, he puts stuff in the storage place, he goes out handling whatever he's doing throughout the day, da da da. Wherever he's going to sleep at night, that's what he does, and da da da. Okay, so uh, so I, I paid his bill. Well, that's what I was doing. I went and paid his bill. So he doesn't have to worry about that. Aren't I a good. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 we're all good. Anyway, so that was that. Oh, 
But then at the same time, I had sent my my nephew his 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 you know p- p- birthday present, which was on Saturday, no, on Sunday, and it was supposed to get to him on Saturday. But it went through FedEx, and they guaranteed it was going to whatever they they say. Well, it didn't arrive, so I go to them and say, "Hey, yo!" To this morning, this is Monday. Yo, what happened? You know, they said, "Well, it's still in, it's still in whatever they supposed to guarantee." You know, anyway, still what I'm trying to say since everything is being delivered, everything's backed up. I didn't realize that. If I'd known two weeks ago, I would have, you know, whatever. Okay, so so all that's done, you know, so it's really good. But here's what I was thinking in my little travels, right? Because I was listening to Antonio Moore about this whole NBA thing, you know, it's the ramification of these sports people. Then you got a lot of sports people, they're, they're, they're doing, they're playing like uh, Hangman online. You watch this, just favorite sports, but playing through their video game. Through video games, that was very interesting. When I was coming across on 2050 a, a week ago, whatever have you, you know, the, the, the videos, not the video, the game store, game store is called, and game shop, whatever it is, they were crowded, whatever have you, because people just, and game shop people say, they know this is essential. In a way, it is essential, but we won't get into it. Talk about the situation. I'm sorry, I go off. If you follow this channel, you see I'm going. I was talking to my niece. And this, the liquor stores in Virginia is open because they're essential. They're essential because they have alcohol and alcohol and the hospitals need alcohol. Don't don't ask, don't ask. Well, liquor stores here are open too, but you know, I'm not drinking a whole lot of liquor. That's why I do my turmeric. Anyway, but but that's not the point. That's what I'm saying. So we have a situation now. It's what I call this is the crux of the matter. Um, in fact, this is going to be longer than I realized. This is the crux of the matter. There's a couple of things happening. One with all these people, like like Fist, like some like um, uh, uh, Questlove, you know, from the Roots, Q Love, whatever Questlove, whatever his name is, from from the uh, the Roots, you know, he's doing like six hour DJ sets online. Hey, who'd have thunk it? You know, so a lot of people. There's some things that are, that are going online. Something that's not going. I do. There's a thing I go to every year called the the, um, the National Arts Festival down in South Africa from Grahamstown down Grahamstown. And uh, and they're 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 not canceling the festivals yet because it happens in like June July you know they're not canceling the festivals yet but they're going to have a virtual festival. This is quite interesting because you know groups are booked you know months and months in advance. It's a whole process to get into that festival. I was in and I wasn't there. No, my my wife was was craft with did her crafting one year there. I never took a, I never took a show to the National Arts Festival. Oh well. Um, I guess one of these days I will. Maybe maybe the Dimbaza group will do a they'll, they'll go to National Arts Festival when all this stuff is over. One of you know one of these years they get a audio drama group there. That would be good. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, uh, and, and so they're going to do this whole virtual thing. So this is kind of interesting. Hmm. Everything is starting to change. Starting to change. But here's the thing. What I realized with the um, with the sports. And with you know the entertainers, whatever, because the entertainers, the entertainers are singing, whatever, because they got to keep their brand out there. Because when it's over, you're gonna you're gonna still you know, and if, if you if you hit while it, you know what I'm saying, okay. But here's the thing: in the colonial model, you have to understand. In the colonial model, there's what we call soft colonialism and hard. There's all kinds of colonialism. You know what I mean? Like the ones where they, they just take the gun and say, "Give me your stuff." That's one kind of, and 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 we in charge. That's one kind of colonialism, right? But then there's this other thing that they do. When you have things like like cricket and, and soccer or football, as you want to call it, uh, basketball, uh, f- f- American football, this is what we call soft colonialism because it's like bread and circus. They, it's the circus, right? Uh, boxing, all these sports kind of things. What happens is, uh, even your talk shows, whatever have you, it, 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 what they do is a distraction, you know, because now you're not going to uh, concentrate on your misery or whatever have you. You know what I mean? You're going to come. You have something to distract. Oh, oh, oh! Let me let me watch this. I'm, I'm going to watch that. Whatever. Anything to distract you from your your main missions, which is to, your main mission on a planet, is to free yourself. You're supposed to be free. Free. You know who's the freest people right now? The freest beings on the planet right now. Because in some cities, the animals have come back, you know, wild animals have come back into the city because there ain't no human beings messing with us. Oh, they're frolicking in the city. They, they free. That's free. We, human beings, the only, only, why do we enslave? We enslave ourselves, the animals, the earth. We enslave everything. This virus is freeing a whole bunch of peoples. Think about it. Yes, it is. So anyway, this whole colonial model, model at least the soft colonialism, it's gonna. It's gotta sort of change now. 
You know, even the rich people when they usually take their their money and they and they 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 prey upon the the the, the, the uh, what do you call that the the artists. You know what I mean? They buy the artwork and then let it keep on. They it, it, it keeps on. Then they keep on making money off it, but the national the, the real artists or even the models don't make no money off it after that first sale. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So even them, they got to suffer. So this is kind of interesting. What what's what? The question is, what is happening with soft colonialism? Colonialism. I hate saying that word. You know, what's happening with that? How is this? How is this virus altering this? It's a question. A question from an undisclosed location. By me, T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. 